Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here, back with more Call of Duty Mobile. Today, I bring you guys a compilation of my favorite skins in COD Mobile. My favorite gun skins from all rarities. So I tried to bring you guys a top three for each rarity. My top three uncommon skins, top three rare skins, and moving up like that. And I gotta tell you guys, it was very hard, especially for the rares, the blue rarity. There's so many cool skins, guys. It's very hard to make a top three. So we're gonna get started with the uncommon ones, guys. And if your favorite skins are not in my top threes, make sure you leave a comment below. Maybe I forgot something. Maybe I will change my mind for the future videos. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for daily COD Mobile videos. So let's get into it. So let's start with the uncommon stuff, guys. At number three, the trick or treat skin. It's uncommon. But it's kind of rare for real. You don't see these very often. It's not available on all the guns. And it was only available around uh, Halloween in October 2019. So I know you got the DLQ. I think it was available in crates. Uh, the M4 is available. The LK24. So yeah. It's pretty cool skin for real. It's got some ghosts and some candies. Um, yeah, Halloween team. There's also the Bats camo, but that one is much better in my opinion. Looks pretty cool. Uh, not too colorful, but still super nice. So Trick or Treat is my number three here. Now at number two, the Blue Wave skin, guys. It's super OG. It was available in preseason as rank rewards. It was also available in some of the first crates in season one. Came back a little bit later. So yeah, it is uncommon rarity. So it was not so hard to get. It's also available in a bunch of different weapons, but again, it's kind of old, so you don't see these very often, and I really like the design on that one. I know the brand new Yukio E is also similar to that, and there's another one, but still, Blue Wave is OG. Very, very nice skin, guys. Now, guys, my number one skin for Uncommon Rarity is the Tropical skin. If you guys been watching my stuff for a while, it was a meme at some point. I tried to get all the Tropical skins on all the guns for Battle Royale. I do have quite a few. I got the BY-15. Uh, I do have, I think, the Striker and the Type 25 also. And I still use it. Uh, this is the Tropical XPR-50 also. Yeah, I like the colorful stuff. And that one... Just because it was not so popular, I really like it even more. And it's not that bad. When you use it in the game, it actually looks pretty cool. And when I use it, I often get asked, what's that skin you're using? So yeah, it does stand out. And maybe not the most popular choice, but I really like it. Now we're going to move to the rare stuff, the blue rarity. And I'm going to tell you guys, that was the hardest to make a top three because there's so many skins. Uh, just these, for example, the section skin just added recently is freaking awesome. The Magic Bull always made my top 10 list in the past. Uh, the April's Fool also super OG, super unique. But there's so many cool skins in the rare rarity. Even Headless Rider always made my top 10. Uh, the McTavish. So gonna tell you guys, I had to make a decision and choose only three. So let's go for number three. So at number three, we got the Halloween skin. It is super rare. There's not many weapons with that skin, guys. And it's very unique. It stands out. Uh, I know there's an MSMC out there. I think it was only available in the Halloween Lucky Draw. So it's super rare. You've got some vehicles. I think the backpack, grenade. And this is the M4 here. So I kind of regret I didn't get the like all the stuff, like the MSMC especially. Not a big MSMC user, but the Halloween skins really stand out, really nice. Uh, very great contrast, blue and orange. I love that skin. Uh, number two, the Glacier skin. And this one is super special. Glacier, one of the most unique skin in the game. I know it looks weird when you put attachments on it. I know the AK-47 and uh, I don't know how many skins we have. Uh, and also the RUS-79U is one of the rarest skins in the game because it was only available in an event. You had to share your code like the event we have right now. And like what I tell you is when you put attachments, it's weird because it's not the same color. But still, the Glacier skin is very nice. I, I know there's a grenade, a backpack, and a lot of guys use that one if they have the Arctic 50. I think the Arctic was available in Season 2 Battle Pass maybe. Pretty rare and really unique. I love that skin. 
it would have been easier to make a top 10 because there's so many cool skins but i have to choose three guys and you guys know my favorite skin right now is the mardi gras skin i use it on all my weapons pretty much in rank i love the sniper i love the pdw and the bk57 also mardi gras i don't know what's up with this skin why i love it so much but guys colorful stands out great contrast purple yellow and the mask is freaking epic also uh, it's what I use in the game right now. This skin is pretty rare also in some guns was only available uh, in some events as rewards or the lucky draw also for the sniper. So yeah, I use these skins in the game right now. I love it. Even the pistol. I use Mardi Gras on everything. I'm missing the grenade and I don't know if the backpack even exists. Leave me a comment below if you saw a Mardi Gras backpack. I think it didn't come out. Now we move on to the epic stuff guys. My number three is the Steel Blue, maybe controversial decision. But to me, it's like the Red Action from Season 1. They remodeled some weapons and Red Action was nice. I think Steel Blue is even better. Maybe underrated. I don't know if you guys like it. I also have the uh, Arctic 50 and I use that one in Battle Royale. Steel Blue is awesome. But yeah, maybe Red Action could have been there instead. Uh, Red Action was also super nice. Plus, it's even older. It's super OG. But I decided to go with Steel Blue for my number three. Let's go to number two. My number two is Dark Matter. I know it's not available on many weapons. I think it's only the Razorback and the ICR-1. Correct me if I'm wrong. But Dark Matter skin, I wish we could have that one on all the weapons. First of all, it's animated. I like these camos. Plus the choice of colors. Like if you ask me between the Cosmos and the Dark Matter, they're both similar. But yeah, Dark Matter is just so freaking nice. I love the colors even more. And it's my number two, guys. Now at number one, I get asked often, do you prefer Lava Skins or Heat Stroke? They're both very similar. Kind of fire-ish design. They're both animated. Now the Heat Stroke is bigger. I think you see the details even more. The Lava is more subtle, smaller details and stuff. And I decided to go with Lava, guys, for two reasons. First of all, well, I like it, of course, but it's also reminding me of the zombies, guys. I miss zombies so much. I love zombies. I wish we could play zombies right now. And the HG40 Lava is probably the best wonder weapon in zombies, guys. I love this weapon. I use it anytime I can. And yeah, the camo, man, it's very, very nice. I love this one. And I decided to go with that one over the heat stroke. I know most of you guys will probably say heat stroke is better. It stands out a little bit more. But to me, lava is special. All right, guys, now it's top three legendaries. And again, I don't have all the legendaries, but I only buy the ones I really want. So here's the number three, guys, color spectrum. Again, I like colorful stuff, you know, and the KN44 is actually a decent weapon. But yeah, color spectrum, I love. You have the knife, you have the backpack. The sticky grenade and stuff. And uh, it's a very nice looking skin. Now, it looks even better in the game when you use it. It really stands out. It's a nice skin, guys. So color spectrum is my number three. Now, my number two is the unicorn, guys. Tactical unicorn skin is so unique. And I had so many negative comments when the gun came out. In the YouTube comments, it was all bad comments. Everyone said, yo, this gun is stupid. This is ridiculous. It's not serious. It has nothing to do with war games and stuff. But I still like it, guys. Uh, first of all, it's different from everything else we have in the game. Uh, the sound is cool. And also, when you move, the, the hair of the unicorn will be moving in the game. Uh, the wings will grow as you get kill streaks um i don't know i think it's funny i don't think it's stupid and i like it i use it once in a while it's maybe not the not my favorite gun at least but it's a pretty decent gun now my number one guys is the brand new cordai zero g the zero g skin is really cool first of all there's the i don't know if it's a sputnik or whatever you guys call it but the little animated ball kind of distracting at the start but you kind of forget about it uh, what I like about this gun is uh, the reactive camo will change with the score streaks. The colors will change. Uh, but also, yeah, it's a very nice weapon design. I hope we see the Zero G camo on other weapons in the future. Like most of these super cool skins are not available in many weapons. I really hope we see more of these in the future. And there's a few more like that, guys. Like the Racing Stripe, for example. Season 1 only available in the ASM-10. 
I wish we see more of these in the future. Same thing for the pinstripe. That weapon is awesome. And it's a nice camo. I wish we could see these in other weapons in the future. So more to come in the future, guys. But yeah, my favorite camo in the game, guys, right now. I think it's really the Zero G. But there's so many nice skins. It's tough to make a top three, like I said. A lot of stuff were left behind. And guys, leave a comment below. What is your favorite skin that didn't make my top three list? And I will read all the comments. We'll make more in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like if you did. Subscribe to the channel for daily card mobile videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.